All right, we have some functions, the f of x and the g of x, and we're going to do the operations with these functions. Okay, so they're going to want us to add them, subtract them, multiply them, and then divide them. All right, so we're going to do them one part at a time, and first let's start with adding f plus g of x. Okay, so I want to do f plus g of x. f plus g is what they say. So it's really the f of x plus the g of x. All right, and we can really just drop in this trinomial where it says f of x and this binomial where it says g of x. So let's do that. The f of x is 2x squared plus 19x plus 24 plus the g of x, which is x plus 8. Oops. All right, x plus 8. All right, and then we're adding these two together. So uh, we're just really combining like terms. Do I have any x squareds that go along with, with this one? Nope, that's it. So I'm going to have 2x squared. Uh, let's look for x's. I have 19 plus 19x plus what is this right here? 1x, yep. 19x plus 1x is 20x. And then our constants, plus 24 plus 8. And what's that going to give us? 32. Okay. And that is the f plus g. Okay, the f of x plus the g of x. Now they're also going to ask us about the domain. And you know that your domain is you're expecting it to be all real numbers unless you have a restriction. Okay, do I have any restrictions here? No. Do I have any restrictions here? No. Do I have any restrictions here? No. Okay, and what you're looking for for your restrictions are dividing by an x or a negative under a radical. Okay, so my domain has no restrictions and it's going to be everything from negative infinity to positive infinity all real numbers.